Fernando Sumbana Jr. Uh, I'm the Minister of Tourism from Mozambique. Okay, and what brings you today to, um, to AHIC? What, what brings you to AHIC? How come you are... Uh, what brought us here is basically to, to create more exposure to Mozambique because uh, Mozambique is an emerging country for tourism development, both for investment and for tourists to, to invest. The tourists, tourists, if they go to Mozambique now, they will have a very good lodges, good hotels from north to south of Mozambique. They have the possibilities of combining bush and beach because our coastline of 2,700 kilometers has a lot of parks and reserves uh, nearby. So it means that it's one of the few places in, uh, in the, the southern Africa, I would say even in the world, where you can combine easily. Your family can go there, and one will go to the safari, the other one will say, I'm going to scuba diving, the other one will be lying by the beach. Because we, this is the gift we got in Mozambique that really we, we, we are able to combine the two things. And we're also promoting investment because it is a, a very a, a vast a, a country. As I mentioned, uh, the, the size of the coastline, but the, the country itself is 800 square kilometers of uh, 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 land where you can do a lot of developments you, from safari, you can do hotels, you can do hiking, you can do whatever you name there. And, and the government has set uh, uh, an environment where anyone can come and invest easily without difficulty. It's a very stable country, politically and economically. The population is uh, friendly to visitors, so the tourists will feel very well in Mozambique because it's a country where we like to have visitors. But at the same time, you will see a friendly government where we try to see any difficulties that the investors have in Mozambique and to support them. And really, at the end of the day, we become a kind of a small family where we deal with everyone uh, coming to Mozambique. Okay. There's been a lot of talk at AHIC about how the Middle East has developed and how it's transformed their economy from something reliant purely on oil to to a, a sustainable destination. Um, how do you think Mozambique fits in that? What can you learn from what's happening here? First, uh, what we can learn from here is just uh, the way infrastructures are being developed. So anything has to, to, to get sound infrastructure. Second, education. Uh, education is very important. When I mention infrastructure, first is that I look at the education also as the basis for, uh, let me say, infrastructure as the basis for education and health care. So this is the kind of lessons that we can get here. And uh, the other thing is as to have this social responsibility of here having revenues from petrol, <coughs> but put for the future of development of the country, looking at new sectors of development like tourism, where really you are going to have renewable resources mm. Uh, one day, if petrol is not uh, around, at least uh, there will be options. And in Mozambique, what we are doing, we are using our resource in a very responsible manner, so in a sustainable way. So we have 15% of our, uh, our country has protected area. Just to make sure that generations tomorrow we are going to enjoy the same thing we are enjoying today. And we are very uh, uh, responsible in terms of uh, 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 ecological issues, mm. social responsibility as well. Mm. So that means that with the resources that we have got there, we are trying to maximize today and in future. And we got many uh, uh, resources as well, mineral resources, mm. not only tourism that I'm talking about, you got mineral resources, we got uh, 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 the possibilities on the transport sector that mm. is going to grow in the next coming years. There is this food crisis in the world, Mozambique has uh, many rivers, plenty of land, from 36 uh, million hectares of arable land, we are using only 4 million, so imagine you still have 32 million hectares of arable land, so it's a place it's to a go, it's a place to go.